Hey, little dudes. Ravi. Hey, bro. What's going on, guys? What is up, people? How the heck are you doing? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't eat it, but not bad. Really happy. Chondro Python for Mr. Russy. It's a good size Chondro. Dude, wait until you see how big Russ is getting. We're going to take him out here in a minute before we feed him. But he's getting some size, dude. He's getting thick. He's eating big meals like this now. Like, look at that Chondro. It's a beautiful snake. Feel bad, you know. I mean, obviously, I don't really feel bad. It's not like I killed the snake or anything. The snake, uh, somebody, one of my uh, subscriber friends, he sent me a bunch of dead chondros that work out great. These are ex breeders that died natural causes. They've been frozen for months and months now, so everything's all good with them. So we're gonna defrost them. We need to defrost some. Uh, we need a rabbit. Oh, look, rabbit. Tricks me with the blackness. Yeah, it's a little black bunny. Oh, it's a black oh, rabbit. It's a cute little guy. Um, and then we need a jumbo rat. We're gonna feed the big rattlesnakes. Today's video, rattlesnakes need to eat. Rusty needs to eat. That's Hell it. Of a video. It'll be dope. Yeah. Today my I was supposed to work today, and uh, my client called me last minute, and he's like, "Dude, I'm stuck in Virginia. Blah blah blah. I can't make it." So I was like, "You know what?" So we make some videos. Yeah, let's go make some videos. Finally, we get we gotta catch up. I've been everything's been crazy lately, but we need, we need to get back on it because I love I love making videos, man. We need to go diving ASAP. You're telling dive me videos. It's getting warm out. Like, look, it's the middle of the day right now. It's beautiful it's outside. It's beautiful outside. All right, so while this stuff defrosts, actually, you know what? I did not feed the uh, I didn't feed the rhino iguanas today. So let's, uh, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna get their food bowl, and we'll feed the rhinos before we do anything, okay? So stay tuned. All right, simple today. Just some tortoise chow and some romaine. Come on, guys, let's go in here. Look, come here, Drogo. Look, dude, come over here, Khaleesi. Here, I'll get her. Yeah. I'll get her, she gets y'all crazy, man. Come here, baby girl. Look at my baby. Oh, hello, Khaleesi, you sweet little girl. She's like, Dad, put me down. I want to eat some food. Wow, she's so cute. Look at how light her head is getting. Beautiful. It's like almost like minty green. Relax, baby. I know you want to eat. Come here. Go here. Get your boyfriend. Eat your food. Drogo. Go get your food, dude. He's actually getting a lot better. Um, I've been in the cage. I've been spending a lot of time with him uh, recently. Like even the other day I came out here and I just laid down. Look at this. He's shedding, he's shedding his spikes right here. Watch, this whole thing is gonna come right off. Wow, great. Slides right off, you see that? How freaking cool is that? Brand new, fresh, fresh spikes underneath you, bro. Look at that, how cool is that? Sheds right off. Now sometimes when they shed, they eat their skin. A lot of the times, actually, they eat this. So when it comes off, that's why you don't really see it in the cage as much as when you do with uh, the snakes and stuff. They actually will eat their skin. But. They've been doing great. I've been coming out here lately, spending a lot of time with them. Um, especially like yesterday, I came out here and I was literally just laying on the floor with both of them, and Khaleesi was crawling all over me, and I was just like petting her and stuff. And Drogo came over, and even Drogo was, he was, uh, he was climbing on me a little bit yesterday too. So he's he's definitely they're definitely getting better. Look, you can see he's shedding right now, but once it gets summertime again, it's a, it's about to be spring break over here in uh, in March. He's gonna get the, see how blue he is underneath there? She's gonna get the same. So once the sun's out a little bit more, during the summer they actually have more of like a minty green blue hue to them. She gets it a lot. Like you can already tell she's lightening up a lot already, but he's gonna lighten up as well. Drogo, can we eat your food, dude? You guys aren't hungry? I've been feeding them pretty good lately. Wait, baby. Oh, you're so cute. All right, so. Let's uh, go check on all this uh, stuff that's thawing out right now and head into the snake room. Woo! All right, Rusty. Rusty just shed. See, he's got some fresh skin in this cage right now. So, 
we're gonna take this out nice and carefully. Make sure he don't come flying out that freaking hide box because he's been doing that lately. He's a very curious, very smart Cobra man. Watching this guy interact with just everything and how he scopes everything out, they're just, King Cobras are so freaking smart, man. Dude, look how beautiful he's getting though. Look how orange he is. You are getting so handsome, man. Let's see here. Like, dude, great body weight. Dude, look how nice and thick he's getting. Hey, bro. Just relax. See how he's just like, he just checks everything out. He's just sitting here, hanging around, checking everything out. That beautiful hood, man. God, he's such a cool little cobra. Just gotta be on your wits with him. He's so quick and fast with his movements. He's so unpredictable. Well, not unpredictable, but he's just very on edge, you know? He's very active, whereas a lot of my other snakes I take out of the cage and they kind of just chill out. As soon as I take Rusty out, Rusty wants to see what's going on with the room and check everything out. Very curious things. You can see he's not even really hooding up a whole lot. He's not really, he hasn't been showing, I mean he still definitely shows some signs of aggression. And he's still, when he's in his cage, sometimes he'll come after me when he's in his cage with his mouth wide open. Like literally the other day I went and I was gonna, I was gonna just handle him for a little bit. He was in his cage. He's very territorial when he's in his cage, especially by his hide box. He came flying out, hooded up, mouth wide open, trying to strike at me inside of his cage. But once he's out of his cage, for the most part, look, he's just checking everything out, seeing what's up with Alex. He's so cool. He's such an awesome little snake, man. But dude, look how big he's getting. Look at this. That's freaking crazy, bro. He's easily, he's easily seven feet tall, like you're seven feet long. Easy seven feet. Stop trying to go by my hand, bro. This chief's trying to ride that hook. Okay, let's go this way. Go in your cage. Thank you, sir. He's like, Dad, where's my food, man? Why'd you take me out? You didn't even give me any food. Look at this. See how the pattern changes on their tails, man? It's just so freaking, dude, look at that. How it goes from being that like greenish orange to boom, all that, that those black chevrons. Such a badass snake, I love him. Let's go check on that chondro python. It should be thawed out by now. And then we'll, uh... actually, you know what? We should feed, we should feed them first because they take forever. We probably won't, we're probably gonna speed up this whole process for you guys today just because Batman takes, dude, literally like 45 minutes to an hour every single time that he eats. He's the slowest eater I have in this room. It's absolutely insane. So we're gonna kind of speed things up today just for, uh, for time's sake, so let's go grab these food items and get to feeding. Okay, so let's get Robin out of the cage first. Now I always feed these guys separate because I don't want any funny business happening. The rats are almost thawed out, not quite. So we're just gonna take her Put her down here. Just like this. You see that? That's trust right there. Should be trusting the snakes though. She is a sweetheart, and I know what I'm doing. So. Relax yourselves. All right, so let's go get these freaking rats. Oh, hey, Russ. You're hungry, dude. Look at him, he knows. He's like, oh, dad. Dad's got a meal for me today. For sure. Dude, look how big this thing is. Dude, this chondro is like, bro, this is a good size snake. Look at that. That's easy, easy four foot snake. It's definitely his biggest meal ever. Dude, yeah, this is definitely his biggest meal ever. So I'm just gonna grab it right like the head like that, like so. Open up Crazy Man's cage. Watch out, watch your fingers, dude. See, now he gets all, gets all crazy. He's like, oh yeah. Thank you, Yum, yum.
Just like that. Dude, that was not even that long. That was maybe two minutes. Ate a four foot chondro python. That is pretty awesome. I just want to touch him on his head so bad I don't give him a little touch. But I know that's not good. I have to resist touching Tyler. I know I want to touch everything. Sometimes that's not good. Dude, look how handsome he is. What a handsome snake, dude. Just like their faces and their eyes. Dude, king cobras are just like amazing animals, man. Such a beautiful snake. Look how fat he is. His scales are separating. Dude, that was a nice thick meal for him. Now careful now. Now that he's got now that he's got that tail in his mouth, he's fully capable of flying out like a psychopath and grabbing one of us, so we want to be careful now. See? See how fast he just turned around? So quick, dude. On edge. They're very alert when they're eating. The most vulnerable that a snake can be is when it's eating, especially a king that's eating another snake, you know, out in the wild. You know, a lot of the times they can run away and defend themselves, but when they're eating, they have a mouthful of food. They can't really just like spit it out super fast and defend themselves. So they're on edge. But dude, he did great. You're such a handsome freaking cobra, man. Look at him. So, now, Robin real fast, and then we'll go grab, we'll go grab Batman's rabbit out of the, out of the sink and give that to him. See all that venom right there? Look at that. Look at all that venom that's on the rat right there. Gnarly. Right, let's grab you. Put you back in here. Lie down. Go in there, please. I'm sorry. Alright, cool. So, we're gonna let her eat in there. I'm gonna go grab his rabbit real fast, feed him, and then that's it. Everything's done. Fed Rusty, fed the rattlesnakes. Goal accomplished. Batman! Dun, 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 dun. Nice. Rabbit. Nice warm rabbit. Boom. Right in the head. Pop. Put him down like that. And that's it. He's gonna eat it, but he's going to take forever to He's gonna take forever. He takes 45 minutes. Easily 45 minutes to an hour every time that we feed him. So, I'm not gonna bore you guys. We have other things to do, more videos to make, more cages to clean, more poop to throw away, and yada yada yada. So always poop, that's job security. Yep. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was fun. Kept it real. Appreciate you. So, till next time guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're almost at Kind of almost at 400,000. We're at 350 something right now. So once we get to 400,000, we're gonna do a little giveaway thing. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do it, but somebody, we're gonna fly somebody down here to hang out with us. It's gonna be fun. We'll do some snake stuff, do some gator stuff, go hang out with Chandler, go diving, whatever the case is, go fishing. We're gonna figure out some cool shit to do. So yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm ready. So until next time, guys. Peace out. Y'all are the best.